We have had so many amazing skins and pickaxes added to the game in Chapter 5 Season 3, and with Chapter 5 Season 4 just around the corner, I thought it was finally time to take a look back in Fortnite and have a look at the 30 best combos of all time. This list not only includes the most tryhard combos that we have ever seen in Fortnite, but also some of the most popular ones and combos that I feel like had a really big impression on the entire Fortnite community, so that is what we are looking at in this video. But before we get into it, make sure to go down, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let me know what combo you have been using today and of course make sure to watch the entire video because there is at least two combos in this video that you guys will not remember so make sure to watch all the way through but let's get straight into it and we are starting off with the surf witch and the star wand now the surf witch is one of those most iconic skins of fortnite has ever added i feel like it has been so try hard in fortnite so many people love this skin a lot i feel like it is one of the best skins they have ever designed and from a try hard point of view it has been really really popular we never I really saw too many people using this in the casual game modes. I feel like it was absolutely perfect for those more competitive game modes though, and the Star One just fits in with that theme as well. Even though this has started to drop off a little bit, we still see a bunch of people using this in the more competitive game modes, which just shows you guys how good this is, especially since it was added back during Chapter 2. But let's move on guys to our next combo, and this is Peter Griffin, and we are pairing this with the Scratcher. Now this is a perfect example that this video is not just try-hard skin. I mean, Peter Griffin is arguably one of the most iconic skins of all time, and it has never really been tryhard at any point in Fortnite. This is definitely one of the best Battle Pass skins they could have added, though so many people were waiting for this skin for such a long time that I feel like that really helped this only become more and more popular. I mean, since we had just been waiting for such a long time, it was so iconic when it actually got added. They also nailed all of the edit styles for this as well. So the default style, the tuxedo edit style, and then the fully golden ender style all looked really clean. There weren't too many pickaxes that I feel like fit in with this perfectly though, so I feel like that is why we had to go with the scratcher. It does fit in with the theme of this since it was Peter Griffin's pickaxe, but there are probably some better items that they could have added. Moving forward, guys, to the number 28 position, we have Beach Jewels, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Beach Jewels has been one of the most popular skins in the history of Fortnite, even though it isn't really that popular today. So many people have been using this in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. 3. I feel like when Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 came around though, this really dropped off a lot and people started to use some of the other skins we had in the game. But back during Chapter 2, a lot of people thought this is going to be the next most popular tryhard skin that we have ever seen and could have even challenged Siren or the superhero skins for the best skin in the game. Unfortunately, Fortnite made some changes with this. They changed around the actual toning of this skin and the cell shading to it. They actually changed around the tattoos and how they looked as well. And I feel like a lot of people actually stopped using it, they actually allowed you to refund this skin for free as well, which shows you guys that they sort of realized they made some mistakes with this, but I still feel like it is worth mentioning in this video, and the Star Wand was the pickaxe that most people used with this. Our next combo is even more OG though, because this is the Red Knight, and we are pairing this with the Candy Axe. The Red Knight was added to the game back during Chapter 1, Season 1. It was one of the first ever skins that we had in the game, and I feel like it really set the precedent for a lot of other skins that we had in Fortnite, including the Black Knight, the Dark Red Knight, the Frozen Knight, and so many other skins. I mean, just think about in your own locker how many Knight-themed skins that you have. All of them date back to the origins of the Red Knight, which is so, so sick. I love this a lot. We don't really see too many people using it today, but back during the early seasons of Chapter 1, if you ever came across someone using the Red Knight, they were easily the best player in the lobby. They were always pairing this with the Candy Axe as well, just because this was one of the first ever pickaxes that we had in the game, and it just seemed like most people were pairing these items together. Together. I love them a lot though. I feel like this looks so, so sick and is a combo that more people should be using today. We need to move forward, to guys, to our next combo, and this is Sotoru, and we are pairing this with the Kamasen and Staff. Now, this might be a little bit surprising since this hasn't really been too popular in Fortnite over the last few seasons, but I feel like this is the best cell shaded skin that we have in the game at the moment. I mean, a lot of people really do love this. I feel like this was such a cool skin when it first got added, but we have now had so many different anime themed collabs in the game that this. This is sort of getting lost in just all of the newest updates that they have. I feel like this is really cool though. This is one of the only cell shaded skins that has stayed popular for at least a few seasons, so for that reason we just had to include it. The Camasen and Staff maybe isn't the perfect fit for this, but I still feel like it is a good cell shaded pickaxe and might even be the best one. We then move on to another big meme combo guys, and this is Fish Stick, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. Now again, this hasn't really been too popular in the last few seasons, but 
but looking back in Fortnite, this is one of the most iconic combos they have ever added. I mean, so many people were using this, especially when Benji Fisher was still playing Fortnite. He really made this his own, and it was his main combo that he had been using a bunch, and even made this tryhard, which is so funny considering this is one of the biggest meme skins we've ever seen. There are now a few different styles of this skin in the game, not just on the actual fish stick skin, but also with skins like Triggerfish and Princess Fish Stick now in the game. It just shows you guys the impact that this skin has had. The Star Wand actually fits in with this really well. I feel like it matches up with that meme edit style that we are going for with this combo, but it does also allow you to use this in the more competitive game modes, and you probably won't stand out as much as some of the other combos we might talk about a little bit later on. We then move forward, guys, to the number 24 position, and we have Unchained Ramirez, and we are pairing this with the Gold Crow. Now, this might seem a little bit unique, considering Unchained Ramirez probably hasn't been as popular as some of the other combos we're going to be talking about very, very soon, but I feel like this is really only starting to become popular again in Fortnite. This is part of one of the first ever clothing brand collabs that we had in Fortnite as well. When Unchained Ramirez was added, we had had a bunch of collabs with movie franchises like Marvel, Star Wars, and DC, but we hadn't really had any collabs with clothing brands, so this was definitely revolutionary. It also carried over some of the traits from the Mida skin, where this becomes more gold and the more eliminations you get and I'm a big fan of that, so I feel like I had to include it in this video. The Gold Crow is going to fit in with this really well. It is one of the best pickaxes that you can use with this, and hopefully you guys do start using this if you have this skin in your locker. Let's move on, guys, to Manic, and we are pairing this with the Vision. Manic is one of the most OG combos in the history of Fortnite. It was added back during Chapter 1, Season 8. So many people were using this during Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3, but it has just been in the game for such a long time that I feel like people aren't really using it too much much anymore. We had one style when it first got added, they then added in three different edit styles for this, and that included the green and black edit style, which I think might be my favorite one. The red and black edit styles that were added a few seasons later, no one really used, so you either want to use the default style of this or the green and black variant. The good news is though, all of them are going to fit in with the pickaxe, which is the vision, which is why I feel like this is the perfect pickaxe for this. You could also use this with something like core, and we're going to be pairing this with the butterfly fly knives. Core is an amazing skin. It is one of those battle pass skins as well that was really popular during that season back in chapter 2 and I feel like it dropped off during chapter 3 and chapter 4 but it is now starting to pick up popularity again with a lot of pros and streamers using this. I like it a lot. It has so many different edit styles. It might have more styles than any other battle pass skin we have seen in a really long time which is really interesting. I mean we had different color variants of the original style. You could take the jacket on or off and there are even super edit styles for both of these variants as well, which just made it even better. It can be really hard to find a pickaxe though that fits in with the theme of this, but that is why I feel like the butterfly knives are a really good choice just because there are so many options and this is going to work in with pretty much every single edit style for this skin. Let's move on though to another combo that was added a few seasons later and this is Spider-Man and we're pairing this with Lebo's bow. Now there are so many different variants of Spider-Man in the game. We have the default style, which was based on the comic books. We had Tom Holland's version of Spider-Man. And then of course we had Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen and Spider-Man 2099. And I'm sure I'm forgetting a few from those collabs as well. But for this, we are only going to be talking about the Battle Pass variant of this. And of course, Tom Holland's variant as well. I just feel like these two have been the best and the most popular ones from this. I like these a lot. I love Spider-Man. I think it is one of those Marvel characters that everyone knows, regardless of if you are a fan of superheroes or not, everyone seems to know who Spider-Man is. Is. Because there are so many different styles for this, you want to use a simplistic pickaxe that is going to fit in with every single one, and that is why LeBeau's bow is my go-to choice. I just feel like this works in so well with the theme of Spider-Man. It is obviously part of the Marvel collab as well, which just makes it even better, and that is why we had to include this combo on the list. We also had Eevee and the Star Wand added around the same time, and this is one of the most hyped skins we have ever seen. I remember when this first got announced, so many people thought this was going to be a ninja. Nintendo collab skin similar to Wildcat. So when we got this in the Battle Pass as a tier 1 skin, it was a big shock and quickly became one of the most popular Battle Pass skins of all time. Unfortunately, it has died off now a lot. Not that many people are really using this anymore, but I feel like it is one of those skins that could gain a lot of popularity almost overnight to become one of the best skins in the game. We do have a few different color variants for this and design styles as well, along with the super edit styles, which just made this even better. But the star one is going to fit in with every single one of them and also make it quite try hard. Let's move on the guys to the number 19 position and we 
have jewels and we're pairing this with the ice breaker we're on a little bit of a roll here with battle pass combos but i feel like this has been so so good i really love jewels a lot it was added around the same time that we had the surf witch in fortnite and it was similar to beach jewels as well where it was so popular when it first got added but after people had been using this pretty much exclusively for a few weeks it seemed like everyone got sick of this and started using some of the other skins it also didn't help that we had these superhero skins added a season later i mean this was just so insane i feel like so many people actually love this when it first got added and since we just had these superhero skins a lot of people moved to them and then completely forgot about the jewel skin completely i love it a lot though i feel like typical gamer has been using this a bunch and the icebreaker has to be one of the best pickaxes for this just because it is going to fit in with all of the styles for this skin at the start of chapter 2 we also had the chaos agent and widow's bite added to fortnite chaos agent is one of the best male skins we have ever seen i am obviously a huge fan of this i was using this a bunch when i first started making youtube videos and i feel like the chaos agent was one of those skins that everyone loved this was really around the time where people were still using male skins a lot i feel like that has completely changed now and no one is really using the male skins anymore but the chaos agent is one of those male skins that is still considered quite tryhard. widow's bite is going to fit in with this really well i feel like it fits in with the color theme of this and has obviously become a lot more popular now that fortnite are featuring this in the store a lot more often with all of the other marvel items let's move on the guys to the number 17 position and we have caper and we're pairing this with the studded axe caper is one of the most highly customizable skins in fortnite and even though this has really only been in the game for a few seasons now i feel like a lot of people thought this is going to become the next big thing and might even overtake the superhero skins in fortnite i feel like that has now changed though because in chapter 5 season 3 it has dropped off a lot i still really like these a lot though i think it was worth including them in this video because of the customizable features of this you can change around the colors you can change around the actual head of this as well to add little accessories to it and also different stickers which really makes it customizable to a level we haven't really seen before the started axe is really simplistic and we'll just fit in with these so so perfectly but that takes us forward guys to the number 16 position and we have the bright radar and we are pairing this with the stop sign the bright radar is by far the best battle pass skin from this season i really wanted to include some of the other skins we have had in this battle pass as well but the bright radar is definitely the best not only do we have a few different variants of the default style but we also have the super edit styles now unlocked in fortnite so it is going to be a grind in order to unlock them all before we move into chapter 5 season 4 but i highly recommend it because these look so so sick i really like this a lot i feel like the bright radar is the best variant they could have come up with this is a remake of the bright bomber and the renegade radar it was so well done and the stop sign has just been one of the best pickaxes that was added this season as well this is pretty much part of the lethal company collab it is so unique and so different to everything else we have seen i thought it would be a little bit more popular but maybe it will start to gain some popularity and traction during season four one battle pass skin that has been so popular in fortnite though is the elite agent and we're pairing this with the trusty number two i mean this is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher in this video it has been so popular for such a long time and so try hard as well i feel like most of the try hard skins actually started to become a thing back during chapter one season three i mean we had so many amazing skins in this battle pass but this is really where people started to buy skins not just on how funny they looked or if they were a meme skin or not but people really started to see what skins pros and streamers were using and copy them to start off the try hard trend the elite agent was definitely one of them this is such a good skin to the point where fortnite even added an edit style for this battle pass skin a few seasons after this season ended which has never happened before and i don't think it is ever going to happen again we then move forward the guys to our next skin and this is travis scott and we are pairing this with the harley hitter i love this a lot it is one of the best male skins we are ever going to see and one of the most try hard ones as well it is only featured in the store once though so it is extremely rare and i cannot overstate how good this actually is i got so lucky that i ended up buying it i thought this is going to feature in the store all the time and probably wouldn't be that try hard but it is so try hard in fortnite now so many pros and streamers still use it every single day and i just love the way this looks if you do want to stand out with this then the terminator edit style is going to be the way to go the harley hitter also fits in with this really well and you can use it with both edit styles for this the only way for this skin to finish up even higher though is if 
Fortnite do add it back and it starts to gain a lot more popularity. And this is something they could do because they actually did it with the Black Widow skins that we have in Fortnite. And we are pairing this with the Probability Daggers. Now we do have two variants of Black Widow. We have the original Black Widow that was added in Chapter 1 Season 8 and the Snowsuit Black Widow skin. The original Black Widow was so rare, but we see so many people using it today because Fortnite finally decided to add this back to the store. I feel like the Snowsuit might honestly have a little bit better of a design, but it was just the fact that the original Black Widow was so rare, everyone wanted to be able to use it. I love both edit styles though so much. The probability daggers are also going to fit in with both edit styles of this, just making it even better. But let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. We then move on guys to the number 12 position and we have the Psycho Bandit and we are pairing this with the Assaultron Blade. We just talked about Travis Scott, but I feel like this might be the best male combo we have in the game. I mean, the Psycho Bandit was added in the very last season of Chapter 1. It has been so tryhard for such a long time. It is also one of the most expensive skins in this video, coming in at like $40. But everyone that ended up using this, I feel like is so glad they ended up buying it because of how well this actually is designed. There are rumors that we could see this being added back to the game in the future with a Borderlands movie just around the corner. I still feel like this is probably not going to be added back, but I really do hope that it does because I would love to have this skin in my locker. The Assaultron Blade is a pickaxe from this season's Battle Pass. It is really well designed and I feel like it fits in with the theme of this skin. But we need to move on the guys to the number 11 position and we have Jennifer Walters and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Jennifer Walters is one of the more interesting skins in the history of Fortnite. It was so popular and try hard during Chapter 2 Season 4 to the point where no other skin was even remotely popular at all because everyone was using Jennifer Walters. This is part of the Marvel Battle Pass. It was by far the best skin that we had that season. So many people were using it non-stop and it seemed like almost overnight a lot of people stopped using this and now no one is using this in Fortnite today. I still feel like we had to include it though. If you guys remember back during chapter 2 season 4 this was by far the best skin the vault guardian was a pickaxe that a lot of people used with this but i feel like a lot of people also ended up using the star wand with it as well since it has dropped off so much though we really couldn't justify finishing this up any higher in this list but coming in at the number 10 position is spark plug and we're pairing this with the cold snap i love spark plug a lot clicks is definitely responsible for making this try hard in fortnite especially still today in chapter 5 i feel like it was dropped off a lot but his locker bundle did get added back to the store a few weeks ago which meant that he started using this skin again and it also meant that a lot of people bought this if they had been waiting a really long time for this so i'm glad that fortnite also added in his bundle back to the store we do now have two different variants of spark plug in the game we obviously have the original style and then sort of a black ink variant it does seem like fortnite will also add a champion spark plug skin to the game it might already be in the item shop as you guys are watching this video right now, but I still feel like the original spark plug might just be a little bit better. The cold snap is the pickaxe that Clicks has been using with this, so we just had to pair these items together. But that takes us forward though, guys, to the number nine position, and we have the AWR Trooper, and we are pairing this with the Vibro Axe. Now, I just kind of want to include all of the Star Wars skins we have for this, because I think it is one of the best collabs that Fortnite has ever done. I mean, we could talk about the AWR Trooper, Darth Vader, all of the clone skins, and so much more, but since the AWR our Trooper is one of the most recent and best skins. I feel like we just had to include it. None of these Star Wars skins really stay popular or try hard for too long, but I feel like they are so underrated in the game today, and it seems like we will be getting even more items added with Star Wars in the future very, very soon, which I am so excited about. Make sure to let me know which one is your favorite, though, but one combo that has definitely been better is Siren, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. I mean, this has just been so popular in the history of Fortnite. So many people love this skin, and even though pros and streamers like Benji Fishy have stopped playing Fortnite and they were the main reason why so many people were using this, I still feel like it has basically just been popular for so long that we had to include it in this video. Fortnite have also added in a bunch of different variants for this, not only as an edit style for the original Siren skin, but we also had Spycatcher Siren added as the Agency Renegades bundle and Champion Siren just added to the game last season for the FNCS tournament, so they obviously realized how good Siren was and have made a few remakes of this. The 
Leviathan Axe is going to be perfect for this combo. I mean, this is one of the best pickaxes of all time. So we just had to include these items together. But that takes us forward though to the number seven position, guys. And we have the Mogul Masters and we are pairing this with the Driver. The Mogul Masters have made a huge resurgence in Fortnite, which is why it is finishing up so high in this video. I mean, these seem to drop off a lot during chapter four. I don't know why they have become so popular again in chapter five, but they are definitely some of the best skins we have in the game. There are so many different variants of this. I feel like these were added before Fortnite had really revolutionized their skins as well, because this was added before we even had edit styles in the game. I feel like that is so crazy to think about, but I do love these a lot. I feel like there is a lot of potential with these skins in the future, maybe for some more variants as well. But the driver is just the best pickaxe for these because it fits in with every single style of these skins. Another skin that was also added to the game during chapter one has to be Aura, and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. This is just one of those OG combos that everyone wishes they could actually own. And I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video right now do actually own this as well. I love Aura a lot. I feel like it is perfect for every single game style of Fortnite, regardless of if you are a tryhard player or not. If you prefer the more casual game modes of Fortnite, then you are going to love the way this looks. And if you are a player that only really plays box fighting or the more competitive tournaments, then you are probably going to like this skin as well. We had two styles originally added with this, which was just one style with a jumper on or off. And then we got a green and gold edit style added a few seasons later, which really took it to another level. There are some other variants of this, like the minty aura or the fresh aura skin, but I still feel like the original one is the best. This is definitely considered an OG combo, but let's go even more old school guys. And we have to include the skull trooper and we are pairing this with the reaper. I mean, this is almost as OG as it gets in Fortnite. And we are specifically talking about the purple skull trooper for this. This is a combo that I feel like everyone wishes they could own in Fortnite. It has been one of the best skins of all time. And even if you are like me and didn't buy it when it first featured in the store, then the default style of this is still going to be really clean. It is so iconic. It might even be the most iconic skin we have ever seen in Fortnite. I love it a lot. And I feel like the Reaper is the perfect fit for this, just because that was the pickaxe that was also added around the same time that all these sweats were using. It has definitely dropped off a lot just because it has been in the game since the very beginning though, but I'm still a big fan of this and hopefully you guys are as well. One male combo that might just be a little bit better than this though has to be Midas and we are pairing this with the Gold Grow. I mean, the Skull Trooper has been very, very successful, but I feel like Midas might just be a little bit better. This is so tryhard for the entire chapter two, all of chapter three and most of chapter four. It has really only been over the last few seasons that this has started to drop off in popularity, but it is still worth talking about in this video. I love it a lot. It is just such a well-designed skin. The fully golden edit style was unlike anything we had ever seen before as well, which just made this even better. And the fact that you didn't actually unlock all of these styles for this, you had to pick between a ghost or a shadow variant, I think was a really cool touch just to make the edit styles for this a little bit more unique. The gold crow fits in with the theme of this combo, considering Midas is the god of the golden touch, which is so cool. But a battle pass combo that has just been a little bit better than this is Lara Croft and the Ebon Heart Battle Axe. Ebon Heart Battle Axe is a little bit of a unique pickaxe. We probably won't see too many people using it with Lara Croft, considering how many people are using something like the Star Wand or the Leviathan Axe. But I really like this pickaxe, so I'm including it with Lara Croft. This has been so popular pretty much since Chapter 2 Season 6 when it was added to the game. A lot of people are using the default edit style. So if you guys do want to swap this around and use one of the other edit styles, I feel like that is going to be the best way to go. You could make an argument that this is the best battle pass skin we have ever seen in Fortnite, but personally, I feel like the Reaper and the trusty number two is just a little bit better. This has probably been the best combo from any battle pass that we have ever seen in Fortnite. I love it so, so much. The Reaper was one of the first ever male skins that we had in the game that really became popular and try hard as well. And the trusty number two was the perfect pickaxe for this. I love this combo so much. I still see people using it today, which just shows how OG this combo actually is. And the trusty number two, obviously being part of that battle pass just made this combo even better. A lot of people actually use the Love Wings backling with this as well, but unfortunately it isn't good enough to be the best Fortnite combo of all time. And that is because we have to go with the superhero skins and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Yes, guys, the superhero skins have to be the best combos of all time. I mean, they've been so popular pretty much since they were added during chapter two, season four. That isn't going to be changing anytime soon either, which is just so insane. Even though the fully black 
like edit style of the superhero skins has been banned in Fortnite. I still feel like it is worth buying these skins today just because of the other edit styles for them. They are so well done. The edit styles for this are just incredible and I cannot get over the creativity that you get out of these skins. The Leviathan Axe fits in with every single style for these, making them even better. And that is why this is the best Fortnite combo we've seen in history. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about the 30 best combos of all time. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next video.